Okay, it was an ordeal. No, y'all stay in the house. I am headed down to ride to the back with Dad. Check the river. I was reading that, um, stay. I think I'm gonna ride my bike so I can go quick and not worry about getting in cars. Um, I was reading that Harvey, the East Fork of the Sage Center, which is behind us, crested at 80 foot. Now, if that's correct, what I read on Google, but I went to uh, the flood something, so I don't know, something. And the East Fork here is supposed to crest Thursday morning, I believe, at 71.9, so almost 72. That's only eight foot difference. Y'all are upside down. Sorry, my bike is <laughs> my bike is caught on a rock. Okay, so I don't know how much of a difference that eight foot makes. I mean, it's eight foot. It makes a difference. In a big body of water like that, I don't know. So, I thought I would go down and ride with Dad. I gotta get my key and it's in the car. To my bike. But I would ride down to the river with Dad and just look at it. It's Tuesday morning. Um, Daddy has a surgery on his finger Thursday morning. I have a doctor's appointment Thursday morning, so I won't be able to go with him and mom. I can go after my appointment's over if they're still at the hospital, go and check on it because we'll, we'll all be there in humble. But anyway, I'm going to ride this bike down there and check, look at the river and take y'all with me. See you. What was happening this morning? The news? News that, yeah, uh, that all, the, all the lakes, Conroe, uh, Livingston, all of them, Lake Houston, all of them are full. Yeah. So. Here. You can have them, Dad. You can have them. Mm-hmm. You. Well, there's a lot, but there's actually still more red than black. Well, maybe after some rain washes it off. If the river don't work them off. Mm, I'm good right now. I think we both have most of the same people. Do your people know I stepped on wire? Uh, That's why I'm limping. I, I think, I I think we're just going to be a family of limpers. Uh, yeah, uh, There's a trap. Yeah, that trap ain't going to catch that. That cooler's going to wash away after the next cooler. What cooler? That blue cooler. Oh, I see it. That cooler. Oh. So you told people I stepped on wire or no? Yeah. 
off a bus before it starts raining again. Yeah. When it starts raining again, the river up like this, there's, there's no way to go put up. You know? Yeah. But yeah, it was running through there yesterday. Real shell was running. I showed folks up there. Well, that's a good sign that it's going down a little bit. seen it over here yeah. but so that makes me think it's not going to be as bad as what they say it's going to be if it's still down there I mean it's still basically in the riverbank yeah, yeah. it hasn't come out of Like we used to do down in Maywood. Yeah. Well, sometimes snakes get in these berry bushes. I think they're trying to ambush a bird or something, you know? Mm-hmm. And he leaned over to pick a, a berry down in there and a, as a rattlesnake bit him. And before he got back to his truck, he passed out. And oh, if somebody had to come by, he would have probably died, you know? Mm-hmm. Because I think he went into like a coma. Shop or like on the side, just out on the side of the road. Yeah, a little back to the road. And, and I think a boy and a girl come down that road, or a man and a woman, or whatever, a couple, and saw him laying beside his truck. Mm. And I guess they could see what had happened. It was all swelled up. They called an ambulance, and anyway, he lived. God sent those people right at the right time. Shh, shh, shh. Daddy. That was a fly. Oh. I, 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 I hate snakes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, people start telling you, oh, that's just a rat snake. Well. Well, he didn't go to where he had rats. Yeah, he don't, cut, he don't have to come to my house. I don't have rats. Mm -hmm. I think I have a couple of chickens fixing to kick the bucket. You can't help it when chickens get to that point. I got two that are just barely moving around in the last couple of days. All right, y'all seen the river. I've got some blackberries. That's probably what you come down here for, blackberries. I'm going to go and I'll see you guys later. Love y'all. Okay. I 
read that Noah thing and I swear it, I thought it said it was supposed to crest on May 2nd. And because I had specifically told mom that they would be going to the doctor that morning in Humble and I would be going to a doctor towards Humble so we wouldn't be in any high water like what we get here in Palm Grove. But now I just noticed that it says it's gonna crest. Actually, oh, I already did. It's gonna crest tonight, like in the middle of the night or early morning hours. So. When you take this windshield down, that's nasty, I hate it. You can't really see you good. You can't see good through it. But it keeps raining, all it's raining. Well, why don't you just pop it off? I will pop it off, you can video out the side. Well, I am videoing out. Yeah,
free. water move. That's how fast it's just yeah. going to keep coming. I'm running guys we just got back a little bit ago dad said we we're gonna go back down at 7 30 and look it's been 15 minutes the water has crossed high in the place where we cross in our in the art in the mules and stuff and his goats are on the other side Ivan and the goats are so we're doing rescue now I'm waiting for dad's mule wouldn't go through it Daniel says his would here comes Bree okay so what's happening is daddy's calling the cows up he's gonna put them in the lot right here Daniel is getting his big truck because it will pull the trailer and the trailer's already back there, the stock trailer. So they will load the goats and stuff in the stock trailer and d bring them through. So here he comes now.
rescue it is. We got him. Daniel used his big truck. He went through. We hooked onto the trailer that's back there on the field. We got all the goats in the trailer, babies and all, and the horse. Ivan come up through. Well, Ivan had already made his way up, so y'all can see him. He's right here. He was on this side of the water. And um, so everything's fine. Daniel did lose brakes and power steering and, his, and stuff like that in his truck because the water was very high even for his big truck. But um, it'll dry out. It'll be fine. Um, my red truck does that. The last time we had to bring it through high water coming through in my red truck, whoo, it was scary because everything just sort of died inside. But when we come out of the water, it started right back up again, praise God. All right, so um, Dad is going to put the goats in the front. He's still going to put them in their little goat yard, but the one that's right by the back door and close the gate to the back so they can't go back on the other side of the water. Well, they won't go through the water. Anyway, whew, I'm soaking wet. And the only thing that was scary for me just me personally was because I was worried that I have a hole in my foot and that I'd get nasty germs in it from the river. So I'll go home and peroxide out my foot good. Hope no river germs got in it. So all the goats are in the trailer right now. The little horse is somewhere. Bree took the horse, um, I think, and put her over here with the goats again into the little yard. What a thing. All right, so I think he wants to put his goats back here. Bree's trying to talk him into something else. I don't know what they're gonna do. I'll see y'all in a little bit. He went through high water, Laramie, and he's lost his brakes and his power steering. That's why I said he can't turn. That little, that little crossing right there that we have to go through to get into the field, it came up really fast and the goats were on the other side. And it was even too high for Dad's mule to go through and too high for Daniel's mule to go through, side by side. I'm home. I haven't washed my foot out yet. I'm fixing to go do that right now, but I wanted to finish up this video. So all the animals are up. I'm telling you, that crossing, and I was looking at my videos as I was building this to put it all together. And that last one where Dad was saying it's going to be like a sheet here a little bit later, that was 15 minutes and it that it sure was a sheet of water and so high that nobody could go through it but Daniel's big truck and even that had some problems. So praise God though, everything is safe. And we expect water up close to the barn. We get that, we've done that all of our lives, but um, I don't think it's gonna be any deeper than that. I, you know, we may all be in shock because we were in shock at Harvey, but the numbers aren't, adding up to the height that Harvey was. So um, the cresting numbers on that NOAA website. So I think everybody's gonna be good. It'll circle us if it keeps coming, it'll circle in the low spots like where my pond is. And I've t showed y'all how that channel, it comes from mom and dad's driveway and around and it goes out Lester's and around. It'll make everybody sort of, mom and dad will be separated from me down here. But as long as we're not going anywhere or doing anything, it won't it won't be a problem. So we love you guys. God bless y'all. Y'all keep everybody in your prayers. I think we're good, but there will be people that won't be. I, I know my, my old boss from Splendora school district said that there are already people in her neighborhood that are underwater. Um, but her house is, um, higher. So, um, we just need to keep everybody in our prayers. All right. Love you guys. God bless y'all. Katie, I'm trying to do a video.